Oh no, someone deleted all the files off my USB to make space for this video. Well, I'd better rename the USB via formatting it. There we go, and oh crud, now I've just wiped all the data off the USB. Again! If you get yourself into a position like this, I hate to admit it, but you're pretty much screwed. However, you may be able to use a free file recovery program known as Recover to get back those lost files. Follow the link in the description, click download free version and free download, then download from puriform.com and save the file. Once Recover is done downloading, open the installer and install the software. Once it's done, open up Recover, click next, choose a file type, or just leave the default all files if you want to search for everything. Next you can search your whole computer for deleted files or you can search in a specific location. I'll choose a USB drive but you can choose an internal drive if you wish. Click start for a quick search but if this doesn't work click yes to perform a deep scan. This may take a while and depending on a number of factors you may not be able to recover the file successfully and to be honest chances are quite low. Once it's done, it'll list all the files it has found. Click switch to advanced mode for more details and maximize the window. Next to each file, you'll see an estimated file state such as excellent or poor or unrecoverable and so on. Even files in an excellent state might not be perfect, but there is a slight possibility that they are in perfect condition even years after the drive was formatted. Choose the files you want to recover from here or press Ctrl A to highlight all entries, then right click a file and click check highlighted followed by the recover button. Next choose a place to recover the files to and preferably not the same drive you're recovering them from as this can corrupt the files further. Wait for the recovery to finish then press OK and open the location you recovered the files to. As you can see it managed to recover a ton of files and although some of them work you may notice you get errors when trying to open most of them as the files are corrupted and partially overridden.